Hey y'all, welcome back to Fiasco Factor, where we are playing Satisfactory during the Alpha Test Weekend. This game is coming out of Early Access on March 19th, and I got got until 5 p.m. Pacific Time tomorrow to play this game. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get a lot of time because I've got to switch into work mode. So, uh, I wanted to play around, though, kind of setting up some automated processes. So, let's take a look about... I've got over here a biofuel processor that I set up. I guess biofuel is a, is indeed a starter thing. You can automate it a little bit, but you obviously can't automate getting trees and, and leaves into here. But I've set up a couple conveyor, or a couple containers over here, conveying wood and uh, leaves in, getting processed, putting it into a merger over here, and uh, getting it processed into biofuel, which is getting collected in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of that because I might have to do some refueling. And then over here we got copper getting brought in, put in this container, put into here to make copper wires. I'm storing those up because you often need more than one stack of them. I hope there are different size storage containers at some point in the future. Like you might want to have one that's only, I don't know, five or ten stacks maybe instead of twenty. Not entirely sure about that. And then cable, I'm just doing it here. I'm uh, just going to get, I guess, one stack stocked up over here. So that's fine. I don't seem to ever need that much. And then up here on iron, did a little bit more. Uh, we'll go look at iron in a minute. But since we're here, let's take a look at this. So I've got tier one and tier two. And I've seen everything that's in here. I want to get these things, but I'm not in a super big hurry to them. Jump pads, walkways, all of that. What I want to do is unlock tier three and see what's in there. I understand we have access to coal, but uh, not a lot uh, is visible at this point. So I'm guessing it might be in the tier three thing. So let's build a watchtower over here, over this way. Can I slip it in here by any chance? Not if I'm moving, okay. Let's try to build a watchtower that is under organization. Yes, a lookout tower. Um, yeah, it can't really go there, okay. Put it over here. Man, I have a hard time getting down these things. I do fall down them a lot. That's uh, that's unfortunate. I have to learn how to do it. I'm getting better at it, but I have fallen down quite a few times trying to climb down the ladder. So, over here we've got the mines. They're bringing stuff into an ore storage container, then smelting. Those are getting put into two iron plate containers. Those are getting made into, um, sorry, iron ore, iron bars, iron ingots. Those are getting turned into iron plates here. Those are getting turned into rods here. And then the rods are going in to make screws. And then we've got a couple of assemblers here taking iron plates and screws and making reinforced plates. And then screws and rods making rotors. And so the, um, I don't know if it's the end game, but one of the key things you gotta do to get into the stuff is unlock this space elevator. So we could put it right here there's a control panel there, but if you look on the right, there's some input slots, and right and left, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around, hopefully get it set up, like, maybe there. Because what the space elevator wants, and I also want to show you guys this animation, because this is pretty darn cool. It takes a while to build. But, uh, but check this out. This animation is sweet. All right, so there it's built. Can we see the sky? Yeah, then we can see the sky. So the uh, the space cable is coming down from whatever in the sky. It looks like this is simulated too, by the way, because it just kind of slings down in there. I don't know, maybe it's not, maybe it's animated. Uh, but these things look like they're kind of searching for a way to hook in, and then when they hook in, they get pulled taut. And now we can see the... I don't know what that is up there, but we can see it. Maybe that's the elevator car? Oh, you know, that's probably what it is. That's just probably the space elevator car. Yeah, okay. So let's see if I can do this. I can kill... No! Okay. Come on now. Okay. Alright, there we go. It's a little hard. You can't tell what you're attached to. 
Okay, we've got this guy. And right now, if we get over there, he wants uh, 50 rotors and 75 reinforced iron plates. We ought to be getting close to that, are we? Uh, we've got 49. I don't think it can do any more for now. And then we've got 64 there. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's hook these up. And hopefully they will hook up. Those uh, those watchtowers or lookout towers or whatever they are are super good for being able to position things. It's a little hard to do when you're on the ground. So we'll start sending some plates and rotors in. Are you working? Yeah, you're producing. Yep. Okay. And let's just make sure this is going to produce the last little bit. Yeah, it is. So pretty soon we're going to get to send this boy off. He's getting his stuff. That's great. So these guys use 15 megawatts, is that right, or kilowatts? 15 megawatts, and these things produce 20 megawatts, right? So your power grid, mm, I don't know, I don't know, man. Like, um, we could run another one of these manufacturers, what are they called, constructors? Because they only take four megawatts, so you can run one assembler, one manufacturer, one constructor off of one biomass burner. But anyway, I'm hoping that we're going to get coal or something that, that completely obviates the need to do that in any case. Alright, we got our 50 rotors. I'm going to meantime put this guy on standby because I don't really want it building a whole bunch of rotors right now. Let's make sure the screws get into the iron, uh, the reinforced plate guy. And let's just go over here because here's the, like, the interface for it, right? Oh, it's in the ground, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you probably want to throw this guy down on a, on a pad. But I just wanted to kind of scramble through this to get some stuff going. I guess we can gather a little bit of uh, biomass while we're waiting around. I haven't tried to put petals in it. I guess you could, probably. Maybe. It says it's a crafting ingredient. Wood is, of course, the best thing, but might as well grab leaves, too. Okay, are we nearly done? We ought to be about done loading this thing. Let's check it out. Uh, no, apparently not. Okay, we've got a little bit more, a little bit more reinforced plate to get in there. Do I have any on me? I can maybe throw some in there, too, to help out. Apparently, I don't have any on me. At least I don't see it. No. Well, anyway, let it keep going. Or have you stopped? Are you not making anymore? No, it is making them. It's just making them very slowly. Here, have some screws. It looks like it's got plenty of iron plate. It just needed screws. Okay, well, we'll let that go for just a little bit. And is there anything else to look at? I don't think so. Copper is, uh, is about what you saw it last time. And, of course, concrete is getting produced over there. How much concrete do I have? I've got plenty. I'm not going to go get any more. I am going to heal myself up, though, because <laughs> this is all fall damage for me being a derp on these watchtowers. So might as well get a little bit. Unfortunately, I had to cover up one of these barrel nut trees. But they regrow so slowly in any case. Uh, the, the nuts, not the trees themselves. And I guess the trees don't regrow. But presumably at some point we'd be able to plant them and have like a tree farm that produces stuff and then pipes into a thing. I don't know though. There's no way to automate these biomass generators that I can that I can see. I don't believe they have an input. Do they? No, conveyor belt doesn't want to connect to that in the obvious spot. And the one attached to the hub, it doesn't it doesn't take a conveyor either. So I don't think there's any way to really automate biomass, not truly. So you kinda I think we do need to get into a tier two fuel. How close are we? Two more. Alright, come on, buddy. Let's get to it. So screws, they take so long. So, you know, when sorting this out, I guess you'd want to get like uh I guess you'd want to take and, and have some screws go uh, get manufactured in two places at once. Let's throw a few more in there. See if we can get some more plates out of here. I just want to launch this thing and look at what tier two is all tier three is all about. We're getting there. Just one more. There it goes. Alright. 
Let's put you on standby too, because I don't want to deal with this anymore. Let's just put you there. I'm probably going to abandon this game after this little after this little session, just because I'm not going to be able to play it anymore this weekend. I'm so sad. I would love to play it all day, but unfortunately, I've got some deadlines at work I got to get done. And I think we are there. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the proper location and uh, make it go. I like that you don't have to go to a interface on these machines. Okay, we can seal it. What does that do? Alright, I don't see it doing anything. And then we can... Oh, I see. We gotta close it up. Okay, canister is sealed. I don't really see that it made a, a change in the model. Oh, okay. I guess you got to do this sequentially. Seal. And load or send. This will unlock tier 3 and tier 4. Looks like there's some temporary stuff in there, too. Did I do it? Uh, okay, and so the next thing we need is some motors and some modular frames, and we don't yet know how to make motors. Well, we may now. Let's get Hustle back down to the hub and see what's up with Tier 3. I really want to see what's going on with it. All right, we have unlocked Tier 3. Wonderful. Coal power. There it is. Okay, so we get a tractor. Oh, man, that is so cool. 25 slot inventory. Has a built-in craft bench. Beautiful. Can be automated to pick up and deliver resources at truck stations. Nicknamed the, Sur the Sugar Cube by Fix-It Pioneers with the justification. It's pretty sweet, you know. We can build that with, uh, what are those? Rotors and reinforced iron plates and wire. And then a truck station. Send to receive 48 slot inventory. Transfers up to 120 stacks per minute to from docked vehicle. Always refuels vehicles, but has access to massing fuel type a coal generator and a scanner update coal awesome that's amazing and then of course we don't know what's in alpha uh, in tier 4 because that's not in the alpha and then here we have a conveyor belt mark 2 which is faster and a stackable conveyor pole alright all of that is pretty darn cool could we build one of these buggies um, we could probably but I turned off the rotor maker up there. Um, maybe I kind of want to see a buggy. Let's go. Let's go turn it back on. Turn the rotor maker back on. I'll turn the plate maker back on too. Why not? Uh, but you know what I'll do though is I'll just I'll just remove these because I don't want them going out of here. All right, we got a rotor out of that. Is there anything in here? No, there's nothing in here. That's good. So it'll only take in the resources that it's looking for at the moment, which is good. So I guess you can just leave the belts hooked up. Although, if you're if you're low capacity like my current factory, you uh, you probably don't want to hang around for it. All right, let's see. Do we have a bunch of rods stored up? Maybe I can make some rotors by hand. Uh, we've got a fair bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take some like that and uh, let's go ahead and grab a few whatever reinforced iron plates are in here only one okay well you know what are you gonna do grab that and let's just go see if we can make enough rotors because I don't know maybe we can and I kinda would like to scan for coal now I should never have done this right because I really want to I really want to get coal mining up and see what's going on with that. So how many rotors did we have to make? It was like 50, wasn't it? Tier 3, coal power, a tractor. Oh boy, yeah, that takes probably more than I'm going to be able to come up with in the next little bit. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I am totally looking forward to playing it, giving this game a good playthrough once it comes into early access. And, of course, things are going to change along the way. Let's see. How many rotors can we make out of that? We can only get 18. All right. Well, 
I'm going to pause for a little bit, I think, and try to make some stuff, and I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, let's give Tier 3 upgrade a go, and, uh, and then we'll see if we have enough to even make one of those buggies. I suspect we won't, but I think we got everything we need there. So, got to click it in. Right, you got your reinforced plates, and you got your rotors, and launch. Milestone we have unlocked reach. coal Long power range schematic. Transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explore and exploit. Okay. Uh, so we have a craftable thing. Not over here, apparently. Do we have to wait for that pod to get back? I don't know. Pod will return in 7 minutes, 35 seconds. Alright, well, let's see what else is in here. So there's nothing we can do here. We've got to get that unlocked. Uh, almost have enough to do it. But do we have a motor? No, we don't yet have the motor recipe. Uh, is It looked like the buggy was not a craftable. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. A tractor and a truck station. So we need modular frames and rotors for that. And for the tractor, we need uh, modular frames and beacons. Okay. So let's have a look in here. I don't think we have beacons unlocked, but can we make modular frames? Yeah, we can make modular frames. We have to get a thing unlocked for beacons. That is uh, under Exploration Basics. Yeah, and we would only need 250 copper wire coils for that. I think we have them. Let's go see. Yeah, we've got copper wire coils over here. I've got a bunch of iron ingots in my inventory just because the machines weren't going really fast. So I, uh, so I went ahead and did it manually. Let's see. So can we do that? We could unlock it, although I'm not sure. Yeah, we can't uh, actually do it until the pod gets back here. So that's not going to work. Um, I need the beacons for the truck. Well, I guess I can make some rotors and things, and I'll, I'll pause again, and I'll come back when the pod returns. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, the pod is back, and I've got everything in here for exploration basics, so let's launch the pod. Milestone reached. To ensure your survival and effectiveness when exploring xenoplanetary environments, you now have access to an object scanner and beacons. Okay, we have object scanners and beacons, and I'm guessing we can make those over here. Yeah, so we need a few beacons for this thing, and uh, how many do we need for the vehicle? For the tractor, we need five beacons, okay? Five beacons, so we got to make them here. Alright, and we could make an object scanner, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that for the moment, but let's try the let's try to put a tractor. Oh yeah, there he is. He's pretty cool. So can we get in him? Yeah, we can. What kind of fuel does he need? Uh, that didn't work. Okay, I'm sure it needs some fuel, but I don't know how to. Oh, okay, we got a workbench there. Uh, there must be a place to put fuel in it. It doesn't appear to be. I mean, that looks like a fuel tank right there, kind of. Like a jerry can. Um, how does one drive the tractor? I'm not entirely sure. Pressing E makes it go away. Um, how does it work? Okay, obviously I can steer it, but E and uh, W and S aren't moving it back and forth. Um, well, you know, I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't matter. We got a tractor, and that's pretty darn cool. Uh, I'll figure out how it works later on, but uh, unfortunately I don't have any more time to play with this game. Today, I'm very sad about that. Hopefully you guys get a chance to finish out the weekend checking it out. Uh, so what's next? Logistics Mark II? Yeah, not super not super excited about that. But uh, but I will eventually get to all of these things. Hopefully, this I don't know if this game will stick around 
afterward or uh, I mean like after it's out or not oh look the tractor shows up on the HUD that's nice so one thing though I uh, do have the coal scanner here so we can scan for coal I think that's what I've got on my on my thing and there's some the closest is over that way about 770 meters there's some more about 900 meters this way I was hoping to get the tractor working but I'm not gonna try to figure that out right now on camera 900 meters this way let's just get to a lookout and have a look and see what that's see what that's looking like I suspect it's gonna be over some rough terrain well it's pretty smooth if we go down that way yeah possible to get over there I imagine anyway definitely want a vehicle for getting that back not conveyor belts and uh, I think that is about it for now guys thanks for joining me for this uh, alpha test weekend for satisfactory I'm super excited about this game. I mean, obviously, it's um, got places where it's going to improve uh, probably quite a lot during its early access period. I don't know how long that's going to be, but if you assume that they're going to work on it for, say, another year before it comes out in final, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to be able to do in that year. I don't know how long they've been working on this, but they have gotten a pretty complete game together. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out with you guys soon. Thanks a lot for joining me.